Hey guys, Damien at Darkwell Computers here, and we've got a unboxing of an Aurorus. By it's a Gigabyte Aurorus. I'm not sure if it's a separate company, but the beautiful Aurorus Eagle here. This is raised up here on the box. It has RGB fusion, has the Wind Force fan system, and eight gigabytes of GDDR5. This is a Radeon RX 580, a DirectX 12 FreeSync 2 Vulcan Chill Relive Capture. This is VR Ready Premium. It has Windforce two times cooling system, advanced backplate. Now this is the s base Aurorus, not the uh, overclocked one. So, I mean, it does have an overclock option, but it's the not the one that's factory overclocked up higher. It has three Display Ports, one DVI-D and one HDMI, which Honestly, I wish they would have just got rid of the DVI and put a second HDMI in there, but to each their own. It's PCI requires a PCI Explosive compliant motherboard with one X16 graphics slot, a minimum of 500 watts or greater power supply, minimum of 4 gigs of system memory, 8 gigs recommended, and it is supported operating systems are Linux, Windows 7, and Windows 10. 64-bit operating systems required. And anything. So we're going to go ahead and get this opened up and let you guys see what's inside here. Let's open up the top here. And I can tell you already, this is actually amazing smelling. I don't know why, but it has that new car smell, you know? Almost like fresh leather. Okay, so inside, another black box with a nice raised metallic Aurorus Eagle, Aurorus Official Eagle, or um, I'm assuming it's an Eagle. If not, I apologize. <laughs> open this up here, and then inside it's got some papers with another Eagle another Aurorus logo. And inside that we have ooh, an all-metal case badge. This is actually metal. It's not like cheap flimsy sticker or anything. You can't really bend it too much. I mean it doesn't bend, you know. I mean if you really tweaked on it it would bend, but this is actually made out of metal and that it's actually really nice. And then you got your Gigabyte Aurorus uh, driver, etc. disk, and then all your quick guides. And there is nothing else there. I am definitely going to be using this. Not Possibly not on the case I currently have, because I do want to change to a tempered glass case, but I will be using it for sure on one of the my cases eventually. And then inside we also have the foam, because everyone loves the foam. Especially this little tiny piece right there. Okay, seriously though. This is what you've all been waiting for. This is the card itself in the bag. And I currently do have an RX 488 gig, just so you know. It's certified by Gigabyte. Or qualified by Gigabyte. Peel this little gigabyte tape off. And on your fan system it has the blades that have the grooves in it, the wind force blades. These do not light up, they are just orange. So you can see that. There's some like ridges right here between the two fans. I don't know why, just for looks. On the side here, you have the Light Up Aurorus logo. So no, there's no plastic there either. Or there. And then you have the fan stop here as well to let you know the fan has stopped. In the back here's your DVIs, your display ports, HDMIs, and your DVI card. It has a single 8-pin connector on it 
for that extra oomph that they got into them. And then you got the Aurora backplate with the logo, which is slightly raised. It's got a copper little heat sink there. And shiny metal, and it's got the orange lines to kind of conform with the orange on the other side. And your protector on the port there. And I don't see anything else special on this button. That's all we got there for that. I'm actually going to be installing this in the computer here soon. Uh, taking the 480 out, the MSI Gaming 48, RX 488 gig, and putting it into a computer most likely for my daughter. I know she's only three, but or well, she'll be four here next week. But the second Ryzen system I have, I will probably be building for her. I'm not sure yet. And it needs a graphics card, so it'll get the MSI Gaming RX 480 since I have this one now. And this one, while it is going to be in my Bio Starboard for now, I'll give you guys a little peek here. Let me set this down. It does have a brother to go into my system. Uh, an Aurora's Gaming K7 board. Because I wanted one with the B clock generator. The external B clock. Which we will do an opening in that on that later. Another day. Okay, guys, thank you guys for coming out and checking us out. If you liked the video, feel free to hit subscribe. And if you didn't, hey, you know, go ahead and don't subscribe. Don't like us or any of that, you know. We still like you anyways. And see you guys next time.